applause. Good evening to everyone gathered here. I would like to take this opportunity to wish you a very Shubha Mahashashti from all of us. Our next act is an adaptation of Bengal's cult program, Mohisha Shur Murdini, popularly aired on radio on Mahalaya morning. West Bengal's Navratri eulogizes the battle between Mahisha Shura, who is depicted in Hindu literature as a deceitful demon who pursued his evil ways by shape-shifting, and Goddess Durga, culminating in Vijaya Dashami, which is a celebration of the triumph of good over evil. Come with us as we take you through the reenactment of a part of Devi Mahatmyam, describing the goddess and her immense Shakti. Mahishashur Mardini by Virendra Krishna Bhadra remains a steadfast constant through the years, and that is reassuring. Transcending from being a mere audio drama to a prayer of sorts, Mahisha Shurmurdili remains an integral part of our culture and is a gentle reminder that Durga Puja is not just a spiritual festival, but rather is grounds for a spiritual reawakening, a reminder of one's roots and soulful solidarity with others. Let's begin with our first song, Ya Chandi, which describes the goddess in all her beauty, power, emotions, skills, compassion and divinity. She is the slayer of Madhu Kaitham, Mahishashur, Dhumra Lochan and many more. We ask her to shower her blessings on mankind. of the goddess's arrival. Our next song, Shinghasta Shashi Shekhara, describes the goddess mounted on a lion with a crescent on her forehead, as magnificent as an emerald. It describes her attire and her adornments in all her glory. <laughs> Yeah. 
Mahamaya is supreme great goddess. She is infinite, birthless, deathless, beyond time and space, beyond all and it is time to invoke her. Our next song is a call to the deity to appear before us devotees. Lord Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva have endowed her with their powers and it's time for her to wake up and hear our prayers. Jago Durga. Shakta Gune Vishnu Rupatni Lakshi, Tano Gune Shi Vera Vanita Parvati, Avar Triguna Tita Turiya Vasai Tami Anid Bhajaniya, Avar Mahimoi Parabrahma Mahishi, Devi Vishi Kattaya Vera Kunna Kattaya Ni, Tiri Kunna Kumari Akka. to the goddess and her divine manifestation. Brahma says, you are Swaha, the sacrificial oblation to the gods. You are also the one to whom all sacrificial oblations go. Goddesses acknowledge, I hold in me the Rudras. In me are present Mitra, Varuna, Indra, Agni, and the twin Ashwini Kumars. In me are present Som Deva, the slayer of enemies, and the deities Tatsva, Pushpa, and Bhas. Swaha Tvam Swadha Tvam Eva Shatkara Haswarat Mita Sudha Tva Vakshare Ritye Pridha Matra Tmika Sthita Ardha Matra Sthita Nityaya Nucharya Visheshata Tvam Eva Sa Tvam Sa Vitri Tvam Deva Shatkara Welcome Madurga with ecstatic dance and music. 
It's time for you to appear, Goddess Durga. It's time. Mahishasura prayed to the god of creation, Brahma, for immortality. While Brahma refused his request, he granted Mahishasura the boon that he could only be killed by a woman. Mahishasura assumed that this was as good as immortality as he believed his strength could far surpass that of a woman. That was his biggest mistake. He began attacking the devas and won the war against them. The desperate gods approached Vishnu, Shiva and Brahma for a solution. Goddess Durga was born of the combination of their powers. With a weapon in each of her ten arms and her lion, she set off to conquer Mahishasura. She now has an arsenal to defeat Mahishasura with. And of course she does. She succeeds after a nine-day battle acquiring the name Mohishashur Muddini, the destroyer of Mahishasura. The next scene is a depiction of the war between Ma Durga and the demon. The song which follows hails the mother of the universe after the victory in the battle. Hail the goddess, the destroyer of Mohishashura.
recital ends, the serene air resonates with the long done sound of the sacred north shell, which ultimately leads to the start of our puja. An atmosphere is created full of assurance, respect, and universal love and peace. This way, Mahishashu Mardini takes a place in the hearts of Bengalis as well as the Indian culture.